How you guys doing? This is Dan from Guitar From The Heart. Guitar From The Heart is all about helping you to get to the point where you can play the guitar straight from your heart without hindrance. Now, the truth is, learning the instrument of the guitar can be very challenging at times, and there are very many things that can uh, limit us and therefore hinder us from our goal. Now, today, I'm gonna do a very simple, quick lesson but it's designed to help you uh, to get around the neck with a little bit more ease, therefore to lessen your hindrance. Let's take a quick look. Taking whatever note we're on and trying to find that same note in different octaves on different places, and it will help us to move around uh, from where we are and to kind of like map out what we're looking at a little bit. So let's take a look at this. Let's say if I start on the start on a C over here on the D string and I'm playing without any amp or anything guys um, so hopefully this comes through clear but we have C here now if you go down two strings and two frets up your neck that will be C again you could play it like this with your ring or with your pinky So we've heard that in a lot of different places. Okay, here's another one. Start here, come down all the way to the to the other E string, to the skinny E string. So wherever you play on the sixth string, again it reappears two octaves higher on the high E string. Play it like that. So we're gonna build up, we're gonna build up our little repertoire, the same note, as many places we can find it. Let's take a look. C, C an octave higher. C two octaves higher. Okay. Now the next shape or the next, uh, Way to get from the one octave to another it involves two notes we already looked at. So we found this note and we found this note, two octaves higher, right? So there's a shape you can make from this one to this one. That's an octave two, okay? So this is something you wanna memorize today. How to get from, from the same note an octave higher here, you come down two notes, and then you go down three strings, okay? I play it like this again. So we have so far. Wherever you are on the neck, it'll work. So if you're over here, Oh, what notes are octave higher? Also from here, if you go down two strings and three frets over, we have the same note that we had over here. So, really it's just like this one, but because of the B string, it gets moved up one fret. So now, so far we have Okay, and you can kind of really start moving around with that one note. What if you're starting on the fifth string? Let's do a note from the fifth string. Let's take D. The first uh, note we can get is the same way. And here is the same way too, where going from the G string to the E string, it's really the same shape as here, but moving over one fret. Obviously, if you have knowledge of your notes, if I'm playing a D here, I could play the open D string. Sorry. Let's 
I can't go down to the E string because I'm starting from the A string. But if I make the same shape, two notes down, three strings down, there's my other D. So let's do them all together. Open D, fifth fret, G string, seventh fret, E string, tenth fret. Making that same shape, got the D on the third string. Okay, and we could do this anywhere on the neck. Okay, last one I want to show you is on. It's coming from the sixth string, but it's um, it's it's like related to it's related to this shape. It's related to that shape, but it's coming from the sixth string. All right, and because of the way the strings are laid out, everything is pushed over at the B string, right? So let's do go back to C here again. If we go two strings down and two frets down and three strings down, one, two, three, that's the shape we were using before. But when we're starting on the, on the E string, we have to take this note and go one fret down more. So that's another way to get around the neck. So let's start with a C again and let's find all the notes we can. So you start to see wherever you are, I could find other notes. Well, what I, I was started here and now I'm here. I could start from here and say, oh, I know some other C's. Oh, I'm on a fifth string now. So the fifth string means I could go like this. So you see what I'm saying? You can play around with that and trust me, it's gonna, uh, if you practice it a little bit every day, like say five minutes a day, it'll really open up um, your ability to kind of visualize around the neck. This is probably the first video I'm gonna do in this series with regards to intervals and their shapes and stuff like that. Take this one and play with it for now. As always, play the guitar from the heart and have fun with that. Thank you for watching.